What's going on everybody? I am Ballistic, Ballistic Productions, BallisticBeats.com. Today we are going to be talking about gaming computers and using those for music production. And we'll go from there. Let's go. All right, so me personally, I have been a Mac user from like since uh, 2012. I got my first Mac in 2012, like back when I was in school and whatnot for computer science. I got my bachelor's, all that. Boom, boom. <laughs> all right, but yeah, no, for real, I'm like really into computers and everything. I got a MacBook Pro 2011 back then, and I've been using that. Uh, for the first few years anyway and then somebody stole that so that gave me an excuse to upgrade to my MacBook Pro 2015 back in 2015 and I went like a little mid-range for the 13 inch so I got a 256 uh, gig SSD with the uh, i5 I got the, uh, so I went with the mid range for the 2015 with the 256 SSD and the i5. And back then for the beats, everything, it was running smooth. It was like a night and day difference from everything before, but that time is coming to an end. West of, as the plugins and everything is like getting updated and the dolls getting updated and just to keep up. Old MacBook Pro 2015 ain't really cutting it too much no more. Like, still love the computer. It's like so, it's so nice. Love it. But when it comes to like making beats though, it's it's not doing what I need to do. Like after I get a few Omnispheres going and try to put some plugins on my master uh, channel and especially with the individual like EQs and everything on the actual like channels for the sounds or whatever it just start skipping and doing the stutter thing everybody familiar with the stutter thing we don't like the stutter thing <laughs> but um yeah so I was just debating to myself like should I just make do with that because you know nowadays you can freeze tracks and uh, that'll help free up some CPU space and it, it's, it's like ways around it But that kind of messed up my workflow like to me I like everything to be as easy as possible without having to stop and do this as a workaround like okay I got to stop being creative and making my beats and freeze this track bounce it out Drop it back in make sure everything lined up and then like oh now I want to change the tempo like yeah You can stretch tempos, but that's still like extra steps and it's like I just want to just make the beat Have it ready to go and go So I need to get something else So that is when I was doing my research and looking and I ended up getting the MSI G L 63 Ain't even nothing on there right now, but um, yeah, so I went with the GL 63 which is one of the more affordable uh, Gaming laptops from MSI. Uh, it was around like they go for like 10.99 or 1100 and That's cool compared to some of the others that get up to $2,000, $2,500, and $3,000 range for extra lights and this and that. And it's like a bunch of stuff that you don't need. People tell you like, they like base their decision to get gaming laptops for music off of like, they think the price, the more, the better. But when it comes to music production, that's really not true. Like, so this one has the i7 with a uh, i7-8750 which has six cores 16 gigs of ram and it came with a 128 gig ssd and a one terabyte like secondary drive so i actually got that and like really a couple days later i updated the um the ssd to a 500 gigabyte and i put a two terabyte fire cuda uh like hybrid drive in there so it's like has a few gigs set aside for SSD for everything that you use a lot and it opens those like really fast. 
so it's kind of like you get the best of both worlds you get the fast ssd speeds for like all the sounds anything you use like all the time and then it still got that backup two terabytes for just um all your sounds samples any video footage or like things that you might use all the time like it really helped me to not have to carry around like all these hard drives like i really got like a good five six seven hard drives like two of them are ssds that i carried around all the time with my macbook because with that 256 drive like by the time you got your operating system and all your dolls and uh programs and everything you don't really have much space for anything else and that's one of the downsides to a macbook i'm a pro apple dude too so it was hard to make the switch but when i saw that it was holding me back i had to go ahead and make that switch um fl studio was another thing that i was missing forever like i know they just got fl 20 on macbook and i was one of the first ones to uh jump on that with the betas and all that but um i still this might just be like a mental thing i don't know but i think it runs better with windows so like everything's just more clean and snappy less buggy or whatever even still if the release version is out but it still runs better on windows but yeah so i've been able to run everything on here like i can open up six seven omnispheres uh all my eqs and uh other plugins and whatnot like everything without an audio interface i have audio interfaces of course but without an audio interface it runs everything and it don't even use like 25 30 percent of like the cpu and not even half of the memory or whatever so it's really like a huge difference and like i haven't had anything like it or made music on anything like it recently so that's the big thing like basically going back to what i was saying a lot of people might steer you wrong into thinking that this gaming computer is better than this gaming computer for music production but it really might just be a little bit better for games because they do have graphics card this one has a, a gtx 1050 graphics card which you know they have the 1050 ti and the 1060 70 80 like all those and it'll make your video games run way better also video editing and everything if you're doing youtube this will get you by if you're doing like some heavy stuff after effects all that you might want to look at some of the other ones but for what most people would need this is all you need like with gaming computers the specs they for the next few levels up the specs and all the like cpu all that it stays the same so don't let anybody like make you think that you need the three thousand dollar model when all you want to do is make beats smoothly whenever you want without the problems or whatnot so that's my take on it um yeah so one thing i didn't like they just sat this thing on my porch like they just they set it on the porch just like that just boom msi like if people be still around here i don't know <laughs> I ain't trying to have nobody steal my stuff, but so that was that was crazy. Like, like how you just sit a laptop on the front porch, like with in broad daylight. It's crazy. But let me get that thing. There we go. So yeah, I just wanted to. Show. Anyway, yeah, boom, true gaming. That's what we got. Computer itself. Computer itself. It does pick up some uh, fingerprints and all that, but we good with that. We that's what wipes and uh, all that for. Carry one around anyway for my glasses, so straight. You see the hinge is pretty solid there. So let me. I'm gonna do this. Hold on. I'm struggling with the camera. There we go. Boom, let's see how long that thing take to boot up. Boom. 
spoon. We ready. Let's get it. I'll be looking at my, my stuff. Look at that. Who knows what that is? I'll give you a dollar. Not for real, but you're cool if you know what it is. All right, so yeah, so we up. Got this Dragon Center button right here. You click that, boom, Dragon Center come up. And you can check out your CPU usage, your GPU usage, your RAM, and uh, your disk activity there. And you can see, um, it also give you a quick snapshot of like your drive. So I got this uh, SSD. Think about Omnisphere, Keyscape, uh, Nexus with expansions, everything on there internally. And I still got uh, 300 gigs of SSD left and 1158 gigs of uh, regular HDD for like storage and everything. And all my sounds, drums, samples, everything on there. Like, not all of them. I got like other hard drives and stuff like with all my old archive sounds, the ones I never used, but I probably need to go through those soon. But yeah, anyway, it's, it's just dope though, man. Like, just check it out. Get with it, get with the i7. And yeah, let's get it. Let's make some dang content and all that, you know? Yeah, so you'll see a lot more music from me. I've been making beats way more consistently. I just got to arrange a lot of them. If you go to BallisticBeats.com, you can keep up with a lot of uh, my new stuff and you can buy it. Uh, now you can lease it. Or I got like different licenses or whatever. You can see all that on the site. <laughs> um, more stuff coming soon. Talk to you later.